Hey guys, welcome back to the Math is Simple YouTube channel. And today we are going to identify and get more practice identifying solutions of systems. And that is what they are asked to tell whether the ordered pair is a solution of the given system. Now we talked about it in previous videos that the solution is where the two lines or the two linear functions cross. So let's check it out and let's have a point and we're gonna see if that point is on either one or both of those lines. And therefore, we could see if it's a solution or not. So the first thing that we need to do is go ahead and rewrite the two equations that we see above us. I'm gonna go ahead and make a line just to separate these two equations. And then we have x minus three y equals a negative four. Now, if we look at our very first equation, every time I see a variable, I'm gonna replace it with a parentheses. So for the y, I'm gonna have a parentheses, and then we'll put four. Now let's just do the left side or the first equation. Now, I am going to see that in my ordered pair here, I have an x and a y. All right, let me go ahead and change that Y a different color. Let's go ahead and go blue. All right, so for the Y value, we see a negative two. So I'm gonna plug that in. And for the X value, we're gonna see a positive two. So three times two is six plus a negative two, which is a negative two equals four. And six minus two is four, and therefore four is equal to four. And so the answer is yes. Yes, the point two negative two would be found on the line three x plus y equals four. So let's see if it's on the other equation, if two negative two is on the other equation. So we're going to replace our variables with parentheses. Here we go, and our x value is two. Our y value is negative two. All right, so here we go. Two and a negative three times a negative two is a positive six. And does that equal a negative four? Fortunately, eight does not equal negative four. Therefore, the answer is no. 2, negative 2 is not on the linear function or on the equation x minus 3y equals negative 4. So for this to be a solution in this system, we have to have a yes for both of the equations. So it can't be just on one line. So if I had a, like, here's my one line and here's my second line, this shows me that my line, or I should say my point, might be right here. It's not shared right here in the middle where the point of intersection is. Um, it is only on one line, part of the line. So let's get some more practice and see if we could find a yes, yes in our examples. Here's the next one. The point is negative one five. So I'm going to label my x, x variable and my y variable. And then I have negative x plus y equals six. And the second equation is two x plus three y equals 13. Now let's just work with the first equation. I'm going to keep my negative sign, then put the parentheses plus my y, we replace by the parentheses, equals six. So x value is negative one that I see up here, and my y value is five. So a negative and a negative turns into a positive, so I have a positive one plus five is equal to six, and absolutely six is equal to six. Once again, the point negative one, five is on the line negative x plus y equals six. Now let's take it on to the second equation. 
we have, we're replacing it, the variables with parentheses. I have a negative one for my X value, my X value right here, I'm gonna plug in a negative one. And for my Y value, I'm gonna plug in a five. So two times the negative one is a negative two, plus three times five is 15. Does that equal 13? 15 plus a negative two is definitely 13. And that answer is yes as well. So if I, on the example over here, I have my two lines that intersect, that point negative one five will be shared by both lines. Therefore, the solution or the point of intersection is negative one five. And so I, we identified the solution to this system. Cool, let's have one more example. And I just want to encourage you guys to all come back to this YouTube channel and visit us at Math is Simple and get all of your middle school, um, junior high and middle school math support for your students as they go through distance learning. So let's look at this point. Here's my X and here's my Y. And I'm going to go ahead and plot or I'm going to write X equals negative 2Y equals 5. And the second equation is 2X minus Y equals 7. My X value, I'm going to replace with a parentheses times minus 2 times my Y value equals 5. So here we see 3 represented by X. And for the variable Y, we're going to plug in a negative one. So here I have three, I'm just go ahead and write it down. And I have a negative two, this, ne this negative sign or subtraction sign that we saw up here belongs to this two. So it's a negative two times a negative one, which comes out to be a positive two. So definitely we know that three plus two is equal to five. And so my answer is absolutely yes. This point of three, one would be on this line. Let's see if it's gonna be on the second one. And if it's on the second one, it is the point three negative one is a solution to this system of two linear functions and where the point of intersection would be. So let's go ahead and replace our parentheses like we did. We're going to plug in our X value and our X value is three. Plug in our Y value and our Y value is a negative one. Therefore, two times three is six. Negative times a negative is a positive. Yes, it looks like it is and absolutely seven is equal to seven. So the answer is yes. So once again, here is my first linear function, my second linear function, and here is where three, the point, the solution, the point of intersection is three, negative one. It is shared, that point is shared, or both lines cross at that point of intersection. All right, so ladies and gentlemen, this we have a part two to this video and we're just gonna have more fun, having more practice and getting you so willing and so confident in identifying solutions of systems and finding what ordered pair is a solution of the given system. So go ahead and please subscribe, like, and hit those bell notifications and we will have more videos at the Math is Simple YouTube channel. All right, guys, have a great day and be math strong.